The Collapse program has been rebuilt as Collapse Advance with enhancements like the arc length method, sub-incrementation, large deformations, and warping. Since Collapse Advanced has been rebuilt from the ground up, some features from Collapse are not yet available, so Collapse Advanced has been released as a technical preview. In this video, I will show you how to enable Collapse Advanced and convert a Collapse Analysis to a Collapse Advanced Analysis. The first step is to enable Collapse Advanced in the SACS Executive settings. Open the settings in SACS Executive. Navigate to the Analysis settings and change the Use Collapse To option to Yes. This will now enable Collapse To analyses instead of Collapse Analyses. Next, we should enable the arc length and sub-incrementation methods to take advantage of Collapse Advanced new features. Open the Collapse input file. Add AL and SI options to your Collapse option line. And optionally, modify any other options in the Collapse input file. Then save it. Finally, we need to update the Collapse Run file with some additional output from Collapse Advance. Open the Collapse Run file, save, and rerun the analysis. You will now see an additional Collapse Troubleshooting file and the Collapse Database, which replaces the old Collapse Restart file. This analysis will now be performed using Collapse Advanced. Note that reverting the analysis back to a Collapse Analysis will require the same steps unless you create a copy of the original files, so you might want to keep that in mind when converting your files. For more information, you can check out the links below in the description, and remember to subscribe to get more videos like this. Thank you.